British Columbians should be very proud of BC's teachers. It's been a long and difficult road since government stripped our collective agreements, but teachers have continued to give their students their all. Today, we're taking the first step towards righting the wrong that was done in 2002. We're not announcing a final agreement or final resolution. There's still a lot of crucial work to get full re restoration of all of our local and provincial language that was unconstitutionally legislated away in 2002. But today we are announcing, along with the province, an interim measure that will get over 1,000 new teaching positions posted. That means more teachers in schools and classrooms this month, which is what we've been talking about since the court decision came down on November 10th. It means more classroom teachers and more specialist teachers that our students so badly need. The key points of the Memorandum of Agreement are $50 million in new funding this month from the Ministry of Education to create 1,000 to 1,100 full-time equivalent teachers for the balance of the school year. We've estimated that it'll be about $300 million to restore all the clauses and get those provisions in place if we were talking about a full school year. That's consistent with the estimates that government did back in 2002 when they were contemplating um, enacting unconstitutional legislation in the first place, what sort of savings would result from the legislation. And, um, and we feel, given uh, current um, numbers of students in the schools around the province, that $300 million would be uh, about the right number for full scope restoration.